Hello to every student. Welcome back to another video lesson from grade 7. And today we are working about the worksheet number 5. The page that we will cover it's about the page 20 and 22. So, let's start today's session. Today we will discuss about the uh, system types of system, about the application, and about the translators. Well, as you have already studied that what system and what's application, so once again, we will talk about the system very shortly and we must talk about the translators. What are translators? So let me slide show the slide. In here we have there are various types of software has system software and application software. And another software that today we are going to learn it, it's about the utility software that you have already studied in class 5. So, what is system software? The software that is used to control various, it means different operations or functions, actions performed by the hardware components of computer is called system software. It means system software controls every activity, controls every operations which is done by the computer. So system software is classified, it means it's divided into two types. If you want to learn more about the system software, let's talk it. In here we have operating system. Operating system is system software because it relates to the system of the computer. So operating system controls and supervises the hardware of a computer system very shortly. We, I don't want to discuss more. It's very simple that system software controls the activities and also supervises the hardware. So, what is language translators? In here, I have an image. For example, it's a user. For example, me or you use the computer. So, it's called user. We use applications like the PowerPoint that I'm using. I'm using operating system. It means my windows. You can see it's my windows. So my windows is my operating system. And I can interact with the hardware with what? Operating system. It means a user can use applications. We are controlling of the operating system. Without the controlling of operating system, it means input and output is impossible. It controls the hardware and also it controls the applications. Let's discuss about the language translators. What is Translator, you know, the person who translates a language. So, programmers use high-level language to write programs. For example, if you want to learn to create a game, if you want to learn to create an application, to create a program, so you should learn the language translators. 
And in here, in this slide, I'm going to talk about the high-level language. Why it's called high-level language? Because high-level language is easy for us, is easy for the programmers to write the programs. And if we write programs in low-level language, so it's very, very difficult for us. And here it's written that programmers use high-level language to write programs, but the computer only understands the machine language. Do you understand? That the computer just learned the machine language. It just knows 0 and 1. It doesn't know nothing. So, programmers are use the high-level language. Computer understand the machine language. We need a translator for high level to the low level. Thus, translator software is used to translate the high level language codes to machine language codes. Very simple. That we use a translator to translate our texts to machine language. When a programmer is fed to computer high-level language, automatically converts the program into machine language and checks the language syntax. It means syntax, it means the structure, the formula. For example, you write the formula. The translator reads all the texts. If there is any error in the syntax, so find it and er error it. And it shows for you that there is a problem, you can fix it. If it doesn't have any problem, it will perform your action. So, this is the work of a translator. It means it translates high level language to low level language. And here I have three translators one is assembler, another is compiler, another is interpreter. Let's discuss each and every. Next slide. For example, it's so difficult for you guys, but think it very simple, learn it very simple. It means don't think more about the structures, because if you want to learn it, you have more time to discuss, study more. So just understand that there are three types of language translators, as in the picture I have explained it, assembler, interpreter, and compiler. The first is about the assembler, the first language. Assembler is a software. It is a software like PowerPoint that converts, that converts, it means it translates programs written in assembly language to machine language. Assembler is a software that translates programs written in assembly language into machine language. For example, this is the example of an assembly language. You write move, add, subtract, for example, push. This is the instructions. You write in assembly, then a translator translate this structure, this program, into machine language. That Computer just understand zero and ones. So the first is about the assembler, and also it is very difficult for a programmer that you write the programs. You should and completely have information about the structure of the computer system. Let's talk about the interpreter. As we know that it itself interpreter, it means a translator. Interpreter converts high level language, high level language program to machine language. But what's the contrast? It translates high level language program line by line. For example, it is a sample of code. You don't uh, need to memorize all these codes. You just learn that assembler translates line by line. Line, one line, it's one instruction. Another instruction, another instruction, another instruction. I mean, it translates one by one. Interpreter translate one by line. 
So, and what does a compiler do? A compiler, vice versa of interpreter, also it converts high-level language program to machine language at whole. It means once. For example, pretend this is the lines of codes, like uh, before, in previous slide. This is the line of codes. Compiler com will compile it. It means all. It will translate all it at once. It don't translate line by line. It don't translate line by line. Because interpreter will translate line by line. Okay. When we are going to talk about the application software, it is something else. It doesn't relate to the translators. Because applications, application has their own translators, interpreters and themselves. We can see them. And here we have application software is used to do a specific task and mostly used for daily activities. Most of the times we have studied such a sentence in class 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We have studied that we use application for our daily task. For example, word processing software or electronic spreadsheet. For example, this is a, a application. If I want to present something, I need application. This is my application. It makes it easy for me to create a presentation for you guys and you can learn it. Very simple. For example, I want to change the color. Yes, I can because I have options in here. Options help me. Application software also is used to perform a specific task, for example, for calculations. Here is another. Uh, let's talk about this. For example, word processing software. Already you know because all uh, all of you has, uh, or can say all of you have worksheets, and you work it on worksheets. The worksheets are prepared in word process program. In here another we have it's about the electronical spreadsheets we can say electronical spreadsheets it is a package which is used for performing accounting and financial tasks our accounting and financial task we use from what excel program because it consists of rows and columns and cells in which data can be entered let's practically work it Maybe you are familiar with it, but let's talk about it a little bit in practical way. I open Excel program and then click on blank work. For example, let's uh, zoom that you can see better. For example, in here I have ID, I have name, I have salary, and I have uh, income or over time over time and here I have total so ID number 700 name James salary for example as very simple about the 20 Afghani or 20,000 Afghani over time about the five uh, hundred and how we can calculate this very simple you don't need to memorize my activities because it's a simple it is an example that you can understand that how we can calculate an excel program or excel sheet just I put an equal then I select the value then I press plus sign from my keyboard and I select the other value or another cell. I press enter from my keyboard. You can see 20,500. If I change, for example, about the 500, it is 1,000, 1,000, uh, 5,000 plus 400. 
500 plus uh, 400, 900. I mean, just change the values. The computer automatically will perform the actions. So I hope you can understand the today's session. And uh, thank you for your watching. The lesson is over. Don't forget to download the video because uh, you can work it practically or you have my explanation with the video lessons by yourself. Thank you.